with their wants there again. They, they said that they would take care of the mechanical problems. They don't care if they run or don't run. Uh, they can be of the worst car rather than, you know, that are best of the company. So are the ones that you're auctioning or giving or, or moving out of the business, these are the, the bottom of the barrel? Bottom of the barrel. Yeah, uh, and I did with Mr. Nujar and uh, Mr. Tammy. If you decided that they're no longer can be used by the department, that's okay. I'm not saying let's use them until the last, you know, drop of blood. But let's set them up. Let's use auction and get whatever money we can use for it. This money can be used for purchase of new equipment or something else down the road. But let's use auction. So I think I think it was well intentioned, but uh, our current situation right now, we, we just can't do that. So that even if we get four thousand from the three cars. That's enough to buy a, a canopy for our toddler area that we have behind our park here that is out in the sun, we haven't been able to cover. It's enough to buy something. It's enough to probably service uh, all the vehicles in the, in the police department for the next uh, year or so. So we have a first and second. Have, have, any, have, uh, have those uh, units already been in place? Yes. So these are these are surplus units that are, right. that are sitting in, in maintenance yard that are just there. They're, they're, they've already been replaced with other new units. Okay, so your motion. I made a motion to uh, <clears throat> to go with the auction. And okay, so we have first and second. All those in favor? Signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? I'm opposed. I'm opposed. Okay, so motion passes three to two. Uh, second item is item number ten. Um, this really was a really this is item number ten was just really I think the last time when we we uh, gave direction not to provide any services under the thing I think that inspired this bill. Am I not? That's correct. Actually, actually, Richard Morales, uh, as a result of what we started here, wrote an article about the trials and tribulations that we're going through with having to do with. Department of Homeland Security and, and the, the, the service that provide the lack of funds they provide back to us for the services. And as a result, uh, Congressman Filner yeah. has presented a bill in Congress to basically reimburse both police and fire for that for those costs. Great. So you can see what kind of influence are. And so we're asking as a resolution in support of Congressman Congressman Filner's bill. Okay. With that, do we have a motion to approve the uh, resolution for this bill? We have first and second. Thank you, Mr. Castro. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? No, I'm in favor. In favor? Okay. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Uh, item number 12. Uh, that was item number 12. No. Item number 12. Item number 12 is in regards to the, this CBG, the redevelopment programs that uh, are being asked for the setting the budget. I just have one question. Mm -hmm. With all the foreclosures that are happening, with the auction and all the homes, do we see, do you think there may be a need to relook at the amount of funding that we allocated for the first time home buyer program and the other health housing program? And maybe use some of those funds to what you had given in your presentation that was allowable, for example, to rehabilitate some parts that may be in our zone. Rob Clinton, Redevelopment Agency Director. The, the funding that we have under this agenda item, uh, for example, the Health Housing Program is repayment that we have received from first time home buyers who refinanced and sold. Um, under this particular program, the first time home buyer, the prior city council did reduce the amount that we could assist with that down payment assistance to fifty thousand dollars. It used to be hundred thousand dollars. Now um, these these funds have to be used for that because when we originally applied for the funds to the grant, whenever they're repaid, it goes back into the same fund to use for the same items. Now under fund number four two one, which is the RDA restricted capital improvements, that is bond money that the agency has, and under that um, funding, we currently have the balance the downtown funding. We have the Camarena air conditioners that will be replaced. 
We have, uh, for this fiscal year, we have programmed the replacement of the downtown restrooms. And also there is money there for the fire station improvements and money for the tourist parking lot. And so under this fund, we can do capital projects. And what we do also is we do have a bond committee that if at any time your council wishes to have a project that is not on the list, then we will have a bond committee meet to determine the financing that's available and also prioritize the list. Excellent. Okay, any questions? Uh, you have uh, a booking at the attachments, and there's one there that says code, and the title is other. That's quite a bit of money there. What is up? That's the one that we use for the, for the actual construction of the projects. Um, if we order an appraisal, if we put it up to bid, um, when we hire a contractor to the work, we well, put it up to That'll be a common occurrence, though. So why can't we find a classification for it? Let's see. Uh, if you have your packet, it's the third to the last page. Or number 13. Yes. I believe that uh, we could use another category. That is the category that has been established in the budget previously, and we continue to use that as another. But that can be changed. It, it, would be, it would be good to have it so we can see where the money is going. Okay. Any other Okay, do I have a motion? Or against I second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Pass unanimously. Next item is item 16. Um, I don't know the rest of the council. Oh, that's right. 15. Item 15. Yes, on this one. So 